Hey friends, a quick tutorial on Tree Ring yearbooks, Lakeside Trish, Trish and School. It's treering.com. And then you will hopefully all have an invite if you're on the yearbook team. So I wanted to make sure you can have a quick video you can replay if you want to go into it, okay? So mine's going to look a little differently because I'm the yearbook advisor. You're going to be invited. Hopefully you'll set up your... Uh, you want to go to edit your book if you're working on your page that I've invited you to you'll set up your own Password it'll prompt you through that if you ever need help check it this out There's always this help thing and if you type in a question It'll give you links and guess what if you have a phone I'm gonna let you call the number if you need to talk to someone because they have paid staff then you go to edit your book if you're gonna edit your page and um, They're always to have someone there to help answer questions all right, so I'm working on the yearbook cover. Thank you to our senior Morgan, and it says watercolor by Morgan right there. Then we have Brandon's art, and we have Melissa's art, and we have Mrs. Smith's art that I hope to cover when I get more of your entries. So keep them coming, the yearbook cover entries. I have this page that I've been working on just to show you when you click on a page how easy it is to work on a page, okay? To work on the background so you can still see the number of the pages overlaid this will be your first step on top of your background and I wanted you to know this background was cloud photography that I actually took a photo of my cloud then I made it pixelated which I really like it because it has our theme of impressionism impression make an impression is our color theme which is like cloudy painted backgrounds like that which is making you guys look like amazing designers because you are. All right, so to get to backgrounds, you go over here. You click background, then there you can see my cloud background. You can't tell it once it's collaged, and that's the whole point of yearbook is, and I hope to even get more photos on there to show the whole school. So once you're on your background, you can hit select, and then you can change the, add a border, change the color, do a pattern, work with photo. And when you hit photo, guys, check this out, how much easier this is this year. You can get a photo from your Google Drive. You can get a Google from your, uh, a photo from your computer. You can, when you save your photos, put them in a folder and it says your book, and then you click right on it. Shared with me, shared drives, my drive. So if you're going to your drive, you go to your Google Drive, and this is where you're sending yourself photos and you can drag them in. I have dun, 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 a whole folder. I have a lot of folders as a teacher. Hopefully yours isn't gonna be so long to get to student art yearbook 2021. I have a folder yearbook 2021. And if you have it, you could see I have things I could click on. And if I clicked on any of these, it would go into my background. Now I'm gonna hit back when you're done and back saves it. Just so you know, there's not the word save. And so I'm gonna hit back because I'm happy with my background and show you now how to add a photo. How to add a photo onto your yearbook page is you go to this side, the right side. Okay, let me show you. Now these pages, ooh, they're waiting for you guys to work on them. They're assigned, they're all ready. So you click on the page that you've been assigned. That's the one you'll be able to click into. And if you wanna add text, check this out, T for text. You gotta sometimes wait and be patient. Now you could pick any other words, but I even talked to the people on the helpline. They said you can't change what it says, okay? But if you wanna do any words at all, you drag the add your text here, you double click on it, and then it's gonna give you lots of options. Then if I double clicked on the text, you can, uh, oh, that's having me add it. You can work on, um, double click on it. You could do that. See that little curve thing up top? That's gonna let you tilt it, ooh, tilt it. You can double click on the text to work with a different font. And I don't know if you've seen the really cool font, the Morpheus. So Morpheus is definitely a font that I like the style of. I'd like for you guys to use a font or two tops, like this is a bolder font and then I use Morpheus, not more than two so that your pages will look peaceful all right so there you have it you could do mess around with that and if you don't like it so I'm gonna click on that and hit backspace so that's how you get to add text and photos is over here 
If you want to add a photo, same way I taught you, and that's the way you just drag a photo onto your yearbook. Over and out with your first lesson.